next video, I'm going to talk about solving proportions. The main idea with solving these is that you're just going to use the cross products. You're going to multiply 5 times 9, and then you're, that has to equal the other side. So that has to equal 4 times x. So what this means is you're just going to do 5 times 9 is 45. That equals 4x. So you end up just having to divide by 4. So that leaves you with the x over here. And then 45 divided by 4, we can just do it out as long division or do it in your head if you're okay with that. 4 goes into 4 once. That's 4. Bring down the 5. That goes one time. Remainder of 1. So we would say that this is 11 and 1 fourth. So x is equal to 11 and 1 fourth to solve that proportion. Same idea if it's a little more complicated, like this one. You're still, the main idea is you're going to find the cross product here. So the one side is easy. You're just doing 3 times 4. The other side you have to distribute. The 5 is going to distribute to the x plus 2. So what we're really trying to solve here is 12 is equal to, distribute this in, so we get 5x plus 10. So then, just going through the algebra steps, we're trying to solve for x, so we've got to subtract 10 from each side. So we end up with 2 is equal to 5x. And again, to get that x completely by itself, we've just got to divide by 5. So in this case, 2 fifths is equal to x. And that's it. So the, the starting step up here was the same idea. The only thing that made it harder was we didn't just have plain old x in, in, as part of the fraction. It was x plus 2. So when we multiplied, we had to distribute the 5 to both the x and the 2. Um, so that's it. Main idea is to solve for a variable in a proportion, which just means two fractions equal to each other. You're going to find the cross product and then solve for x. I wanted to show you one with a word problem. Just so you, so you can see how that affects everything. Um, this says, Erin met with seven patients in four hours. If she works at that same rate, so this is a key. When you see same rate, equal rate, something along those lines, that lets you know it's a proportion. There's going to be two fractions equal to each other. How many patients can she see in 30 hours? So we can start out with this, this information here basically makes up our first fraction. She saw seven patients in four hours. So to solve a proportion, we want to make sure we do the same with the other side. So it's going to be how many patients is she going to see in 30 hours? So over here we have patients on top, hours on the bottom, so we need to do the same thing. This is going to be patients but how many? We don't know yet. So how many patients in 30 hours? So kind of boiling it down to just the number part, and once we've made sure that patients are on top, hours on the bottom, we can just solve the proportion of 7 over 4 equals x over 30. So just like we were doing before. We're going to do 7 times 30, and that has to equal 4 times x. So this comes out to be 210 equals 4x. We need to just divide by 4. So we can, we can work that out with long division if you want to. 4 goes into 210 5 times. That gives us 20. 4 goes into 10 twice. And we're going to end up with a remainder of 2. So this would be 52 and 2 fourths, but that reduces to 52 and a half equals x. This is a word problem, though. So going back to the context of the problem, how many patients? You can't really see 52 and a half patients. So really, we would just say that she could see 52 patients. That's the most whole numbers of patients she can see. So in those 30 hours, she has time to see 52 patients, and it turns out she'll have a little bit of extra time. But that's it. So again, when you're working with things that talk about a same rate, you can set, solve those kind of questions by setting up a proportion and then just doing the cross product like we were doing before. Um, so th that's it. Those are the main ideas with solving proportions and then a little bit dealing with word problems.